the existing financial system is skewed to benefit certain better resourced, better informed actors. And it does that very well because it works in a certain state in predictable market conditions to enable them to make a lot of money. And this is because they have certain advantages because they figured out the system and sometimes they're able to, to, to bend the system to, to their advantage. People participate in the system because it's the only system they have and they do want to participate in the global financial markets even if they have limited information and even if, even if they have limited control over the various risks that they're, um, they're essentially involved in. Now, this system you know, works fine while everything is fine and, and nobody really cares, but as Robinhood and Wirecard and others uh, are now showing us more and more often on a, on a faster and faster cadence, the issue really arises when this no longer works for certain parties. And when it doesn't work for certain parties in the system, the system stops. Because the parties that were supposed to be uh, benefiting from it no longer benefit from it. And that's when the rest of the world and the average user find out how the system really works. These types of things will continue and they will only accelerate. And they will create a massive crisis of trust of trust in the systems that people rely on to transact with each other, to interact with the global market, whether it's for global trade, insurance, the financial markets, whatever it is. Uh, the most recent examples are Wirecard, Robinhood now, and, 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 and many others to come. But this is the what I consider to be the redefinition of trust within human society.